Is it done? It's on. Is this thing working? It's working. Hmm. Good evening. Welcome to the landing. How are you? We hope that everybody's doing good, don't we? Yes, we do. We've been having a pretty good week. Yep. We, same things that everybody else deals with. We, we have things in life that pick at us, too. We have emotions. Yeah, we have emotions. <laughs> you know, and I didn't really understand that I had an issue with feeling. Feeling? Yeah, like being okay with feeling. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. But I realized that uh, it's okay to have feelings. It's okay to have feelings. Well, tonight's lesson is on honesty. Honesty. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if I was telling the truth, or honestly, you know, people. Yep. Well, I hope you're always being honest. Mm -hmm. What is our principle? To okay, so we, we've moved on from principle three, and we are now in principle four, which is, Openly examine and confess my faults to myself, to God, and to someone I trust. And the scriptures that go along with that are Matthew 5, 8, Happy are the pure in heart, and Lamentations 3, 40. Let us examine our ways and test them, and let us return to the Lord. Amen. 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 So, you know, it's it's easy to say that, that you know, we're, we're honest people. But it's hard sometimes to confess to ourselves honestly about the things maybe we've done in our past mm -hmm. or maybe we've done recently. I mean, it's hard to come to terms, I guess, yes. or or admit. But I think in that pursuit of being free, that there's going to come a time that we have to be honest with ourselves and say, this is where I'm at, this is who I am, this is what... and, and I'm, I'm trying not to get too far ahead, but in I, I looked up some scripture here in John 8, and starting in verse 31, it says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. That means for sure. For sure. <laughs> and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Him referring to, you know, He's made a son, you know, whenever you accept Christ. Uh, therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Free indeed. So, the Word says that, that you shall know the truth, and the truth shall... You know, a lot of people quote that and say, set you free. Right. It says, make you free. Mm -hmm. And that's what... Is that not what we do the landing for, is to be free from our hurts? Habits, habits and hang-ups. Hang -ups. So, yeah. there is a path to freedom... And it says right here, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So there comes a time where we have to, to analyze ourselves, And we went through all these steps, but there comes a time where truly you have to sit. And, and that thing that you really don't want to let go of, or that thing you don't want to address, you're going to have to address one day. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's today. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe you already have. But you have to honestly, you know, say to yourself, I'm codependent or... I have anger issues. I have anger issues or... I'm compulsive. Yes. Yeah, or, you know, I have poor self-worth or, mm -hmm. you know, or, or I'm an addict. You know, I'm really not an alcoholic. I can put it down anytime I want to. I just drink every night to soothe my nerves. You know, that that's a form of denial. We've been through denial, so this is a time where we get honest with ourselves and we, and we say you know honestly I, th I think I'm, I think I have an addiction mm -hmm. honestly I think I've got a hurt that's causing my habit that I'm hung up on <laughs> you know honestly I, and, and that that's not you know it says confess your sins to God you know that that's what we you know a good trusted friend we believe that that's important confessing those things mm -hmm. and and helping me and guide through those things so we don't feel like failures. You know what I'm saying? Because on our path to this peace that we're looking for, 
we just want to navigate through and make amends and come to terms with honestly what what we are and what we've been through and what we battle and what we face because you you can't you can't fix something that that you say is not broken that's right. right first you have to recognize that it's broken that's right admit that it's broken tell somebody else that it's broken agree with god that it's broken it, and and that I, I know that this honesty to me, anytime you have one, you have the contrasting of the other. So I keep wanting to go back to the denial mm-hmm. that we learned about early on in our book. Because for a person to be honest with themselves, they have to step out of the denial. But being honest with yourself, it, it, it's rough. It's rough commit or uh, confessing those sins to, to God or somebody you trust. Because it's tearing off the mask. You know... It, it, it's like a masquerade that we walk around a lot of times. You know, some people may be depressed, but they are so good at wearing a smile that you'd never know it. You know, that I think of Robin Williams, you know, I'm, I'm sure nobody uh, high up's going to see this and say, well, you got to trademark that. <laughs> Man, he was the funniest guy. I think he had the world by the tail worth all the money in the world, living the dream, retired. I mean, just, but, and, and he gave so many smiles, but, Deep down, he was hurting and he was depressed. So we get good at wearing that mask, you know. We, we want people to believe we're something that maybe inside we don't believe that we are. Mm-hmm. So honesty is like pulling my mask off. Mm-hmm. And then I feel exposed. And when I'm exposed, I'm vulnerable. And when I'm vulnerable, I'm very uncomfortable. It's going to be very scary. And it's very scary. Um, you know, that in itself sometimes causes people depression because they have to take a good hard look and analyze this is what I've done this is who I've been but this is what I am now Mm -hmm. and this is what I want to be and that's where we've got to 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 keep our mind is I'm doing this because this is not where I'm going to be forever and that's not who I am anymore but there comes a time you know in our pursuit of freedom from all those things you know we can be forgiven And we understand that. And God's wiped our slate clean. We can be made new. But you know, uh, forgiveness is hard to give yourself more than it is to to give to anybody else. So, you know, before we can get there, sometimes we have to acknowledge this is what it is. But I promise you, have you ever wronged somebody? Yes. Okay. And you may have had a falling out about it. You may not have. You know what I mean? It just may have been one of those things that you've avoided talking to them. You've avoided talking to somebody wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm talking to y'all too, Jenna and Jimmy. <laughs> and and you don't go talk to them because shame mainly. If you wronged them, shame is really hard to overcome. And and we get content with if I'm not looking at it and I don't address it, it's not a problem. But deep down it's always a problem when you see them, it stirs it up. But have you ever went and talk to them and said, you know, I just, I'm really sorry for what I have done, who I who I was, or the way I had been, and I, I, I want to ask you to forgive me, and I, I, I'm truly sorry. What does that do instantly? You may carry something for 10, 15 years, mm-hmm. but what does that do instantly? It frees you of it. Oh, you feel like the weight of the world lifted off your shoulder. You almost want to cry and laugh <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's that's the whole point of what we're trying to get to through working our steps in the landing Mm -hmm. is we want to see you get freedom from your hurt, freedom from your habits and your hangups, freedom from, I guess, kind of yourself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that that's going to come by being honest and, and stepping out of denial. You know what I mean? So what do you got for us? huh? Nothing, I'm just getting my page ready. Your page? Uh-huh. Get your, go ahead. We're not ready for oh, the Serenity uh, Prayer. <laughs> yeah, we, we're kind of not following the, the book tonight. The but, but you know, I encourage you this week. I know we try to keep these short and to the point, but uh, analyze yourself. Analyze those things in your life this week, uh, tonight. I mean, right now. That, that reminds me of a, <clears throat> a scripture. You know, sometimes we don't know um, the things that, that we do that are that are sin or bad that we're not supposed to be doing. 
Um, one way that we recognize those things is by reading the Word of God and by talking to Him and letting the Holy Spirit talk to you. Mm -hmm. And He will reveal those things to you. Because the Bible says if we say that we don't have sin, we make Him a liar. That's right. Because we all have things in our life that in our lives that that we need to give over to God to yeah. let Him correct. Yeah. So, I, I was thinking of that. Well, we all carry something too, don't we? Yeah. I mean, whether we're little boys or little girls, we've heard things that hurt our feelings. You know, we have self, uh, self-esteem self issues. It's probably because somewhere along the way somebody said, you're ugly, you're fat, you're poor. So, you fight real hard to get free of that and then you get prideful. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that... I mean, it just starts with a little seed, and that little seed, I want you to think about an acorn and an oak tree. I mean, I've seen some oak trees that are monstrous, but they all started out from an acorn. And and so can our step mm -hmm. to stepping out and being honest with ourselves. It, it may seem like a little acorn, but it's going to steamroll into freedom. And that's what we want, is freedom. You know, and that's what we wish for you. We... We we don't we ain't pushing nothing on you, but we we want you to be free, and we want you to analyze yourself this week and and really think. I mean, spend some alone time with the Lord, it's like you said, not just reading, but also praying. Lord, reveal to me, you know, because I think sometimes we can get so prideful and built up, or whatever the case may be for each individual, that we don't even know we were such we yeah. were such. Uh, Heathens, I guess you'd want to say, <laughs> that we don't even know that we wronged somebody or how they may have taken it. But Lord, reveal to me what it is that you would, you know, have me see, honestly. Expose it to me. So, mm -hmm. Well, we've hit our over our 11-minute mark, and I've talked the whole time, but that's okay. That is okay. I want you to find freedom. And this, the Word says that the truth will make you free. So, do you want to be free? Yes. From your hurts, habits, and hands? Absolutely. I do too, and I think honesty with ourselves and with the Lord is key. It's okay to tell him about your feelings. Yeah, yeah. It's we okay have, to feel. That's, that's the cool thing about, you know, everybody's, well, you shouldn't feel this way, you shouldn't feel that way. My emotions come from God because I'm made in his likeness. Mm -hmm. So, if I get mad, guess what? God gets mad too. If I get down and sad all of my emotions come from but they can be manipulated yeah. but it's okay to feel it's okay to feel when you're going through this time of being honest with yourself there's going to be times you may feel broken about it and it hurts i don't know why i feel emotional right now but but there's going to be a time that it'll hurt mm -hmm. because you'll see what you learn and it'll hurt but it's okay it's going to hurt a little bit, but guess what? There's freedom on the There's other side There's going to be freedom it. on the other side of that. There's going to be disappointment. There's going to be, maybe even, you might even get down, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I promise you, as you work through them, some of us may have a bunch, some of us may have just a little bit. As you work through them, they're going to make you free because it is the truth. And you're going to make those amends and you're going to be a stronger, better person. And we believe that to be the truth. Mm-hmm. I know it is. I know it is, too. I've lived it. I've worked my, my CR steps. I know it works. <laughs> That's right. It does work. All right. Well, I'm going to read the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did this simple world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life, and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. Amen. Since we read our serenity prayer, if y'all don't mind, I want to I wanna pray with you too. Because I know this is going to be a big deal, you know what I mean, for them, so... Lord, we thank you for each and every person that has joined us tonight. And I pray tonight you'd give them courage. Courage to uh, step out of whatever, you know, if it's denial or, or courage to take that mask off or to come to terms or, to you know, when they're in the pursuit of being honest with themselves and 
really working through these things. Lord, I pray that you'd give them comfort when they're broken. Courage when they feel like they can't. Encouragement when they feel depressed. Lord, I just pray that you would just uh, give them healing more than anything and let them see that there's freedom through this mm -hmm. step, Lord. So we love you and we thank you so much. We thank you for each and every one that hears us and is going to hear us, Lord God. And we pray that for their lives, freedom. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us. We love you too, Jimmy. And we will see you guys next week, mm -hmm. next Thursday, around about the same time. Same channel. Same channel. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Love you guys.